All right, it's Jake Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts, and I told you a few videos back we we're going to do a tutorial on the skewering the sun sword. So here we go. We're going to go through a few of the movements of this classical Chinese straight sword form, Tao Lu or Kata. I like the word Kata because it's more universally known for form. Okay, so we're going to take our sword out. We have a traditional Chinese straight sword. It's got two different sharp edges. It's flexible so it can bend around other weapons. And we're gonna use this in the traditional way. So I want you guys to memorize a few different things first. One is if you hold the sword like a tennis racket in your hand, the edge that faces toward the sky is called the heaven edge. So when I say heaven edge up, that's what that's talking about. The edge that faces toward the ground is called the earth edge. So when I say earth edge down or earth edge up, that's what I'm talking about. Now we need flexible legs for this sword form. So we're gonna drop down and we'll get some flexibility training in. Reverse bow stance. Then the other side reverse bow stance. Let's go for 10 of these. E, R, San, Su, Wu, Leo, Chi, Ba, Jiu, and sure. Here we go, we're ready. Let's go for the form. We start in a natural stance. Hold the sword upside down. Put your palm against the handle with your index finger out and then tuck it behind your back like this. We're going to breathe in with the right hand in the sword finger position. Breathe out and point. Breathe in, breathe out and drop the hand down. Then from here, step onto the left heel and cut boom, the sword up like this so that tip of the sword called the sovereign edge is pointing diagonally up. Take your left hand in and point to the left. From here, step like a dragon step we call it and take the sword around into the left hand again Lay it across your back, flat, and in, and point. From here, bring the sword back into the right hand, grab the handle, flourish it once, and drag cut back into cat stance with the left foot barely tapping on the ground. From here, dragon step one, dragon step two, then jump out and cut somebody really hard with the right leg forward. So it was dragon step one, two, jump out, bang, and cut somebody. Circle cut one, and on two, skewer them, pointing to the hollow of the forearm. Again, dragon step one, two, then we circle it, drag cut up, and lift and cut up toward, oh, the moon is right there. Maybe it's called skewer the moon. So skewer toward the sun. Immediately from here, whip it around and underneath the natural stance. Now, dragon step one, lift the right foot, hook past it, and then skewer down into horse stance this way. Now cut up, cross behind, cut back, spin, circle and flourish, slice up again toward the sun. Now from here, step out three times. One, cut, two, cut, three, cut. Jump around off your right leg and cut down to cat stance. Pull in, thrust into a bow stance, then cut up and down into reverse bow stance. We're gonna call this section number one. Let's try it again, a little faster pace from the reverse angle.
Okay, we got that so far. Let's do it one more time from the front and we'll do it full speed for you guys. Memorize this short sequence as section one and come back here for section two coming up in the next week or so. Practice this every single day. And don't forget, like I've been saying lately, Kung Fu is supposed to be fun. If it's not fun, it's not worth doing. And so if the movements that I'm doing or you're doing are making you upset, stop doing them. Make sure you practice with a smile and have a great time in the process. I'll see you next time.